Welcome back to the back rooms. An infinite maze of corridors and halls resembling distorted liminal spaces that hosts a bustling ecosystem of fearsome creatures. If you don't know what the back rooms are, you should definitely watch my other stuff explaining it after this video and subscribe or I will find you and only noclip your head so it's basically just a decapitation. With that out of the way, let's take a look at more of the entities wandering around these endless halls. These entities are known as the putrid. They look like a decaying, bloated corpse of a morbidly obese human. The literal embodiment of decay and depravity, mushrooms, mold, colonies of decomposer bacteria, and insect infestations are very common on the surface of their skin. Their smell is reported to be somewhere in between dead camel and living discord mod. The entirety of this entity's distended gut and body is filled with a coiled and twisted mass of intestines. When this entity opens its mouth, you can see the tip of this pile of intestines resting at the back of its cavernous throat. These intestines are filled with rats, maggots, flies, beetles, and various other decomposer friends that are common in front rooms environments. If you think this is gross, I'd like to remind you that you are constantly covered in microscopic bugs. Don't like it? Too bad, you die without them. If a putrid spots a wanderer, it will frantically wobble its large, uncoordinated mass towards them. It can vomit up some of these decomposers to attempt to subdue the victim. If it can incapacitate or catch up to the wanderer, the putrid will then swallow them whole, where the ecosystem of decomposers inside of its body act like a digestive system, breaking the victim down for nutrients before spreading it throughout the putrid's body. While most of you were likely horrified by the previous description, I'd be willing to bet one of you sickos is confused and ashamed as to why that turned them on. This entity is named Six Arms, and it's attracted to stress. We are painfully well acquainted. Six Arms is a partially transparent creature which manifests as a tall, many-armed shadow. It has more than six arms, but since six is as high as the person who discovered this entity can count, that's the name. It is vaguely humanoid and emits distorted noises similar to that of a gas-powered machine. It has been observed moving through walls effortlessly, which may imply it is entirely non-corporeal. The more stressed a wanderer becomes, the more likely six arms will be to pursue them. It's recommended you calm down if you notice a darkening of your environment, which signifies his presence. Because he is pursuing you, calming down may be difficult. It's like how you gotta make yourself big to scare off bears. Like, that is not what I'd expect to work. Honestly, that sounds like the stupidest fucking thing you could possibly do, but everyone who doesn't do that is dead, so... Yeah. Sugar is also effective at repelling it. While this is a useful survival strategy, it's pretty mean to pick on someone for having diabetes. I don't think that's gonna age well. This meat is gummy. That's the title. These are worms that look to be an assortment of regular gummy worms. They crawl around on the ground in a fashion similar to a regular earthworm. After a brief moment of wondering if I wanted to eat a gummy worm I found on top of a dirty wet carpet, that obvious yes led me to discover that these creatures are edible. Not only that, they're pretty damn good. The uncooked ones have a texture and taste similar to raw beef, and the cooked ones taste like a steak. I like them both ways, but unlike the time my human friend and I had a raw beef eating contest, Test and she demonstrated her regurgitation-based ranged attack, eating them raw is safe for humans. Despite moving like a regular worm, when dissected, they have no internal organs, just more of that gummy stuff that has a consistency similar to animal fat. These creatures come from giant glob clusters of around 200 worms that burst and spread around. People ask why I keep coming back to the back rooms. Lots of people think it's just for the money and clout, and while you're not wrong, the real reason I love the back rooms is that there's no police to stop me. Oh yeah, also I pulled that putrid thing out of my ass, it's not a real entity. Do with it what you will. Add it to whichever backroom site that you like. I don't give a shit. Uh, that's it for this episode. If you like this video and want to come back to the backrooms and do more things, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, with all notifications enabled, or I'll take away your face. Before we go, I'd like to thank MayaBuddy23 for the addition of these new stills. This artist is yet again a cool classic and will be in the description of every video. Oh, hey, bye.